Hey everyone, it's Niall at Learn to Trade the Market. Hope you've had a nice weekend. I'm just sitting back on Sunday afternoon looking through the market. Just looking at the Euro dollar at the moment, just plotting the key levels on the daily chart. Now one of the foundations of a good trading plan is to start the week off by looking at what's happened in the last uh, 30 days of data, plotting your uh, levels, and then zooming in and uh, taking a look at what the price action has done over the last few days. So we can see the last 30 days thereabouts has been down. The last week was quite an interesting week. We did move down early and then popped up uh, into the close of the week, which formed a little bit of a reversal, which could take us up to the 130.80 level. Now, this is not a commentary video. This is really just an example of how I'll look at the market uh, in expectation the week ahead. So let's see if we can plot some key levels and look for some price action clues to take us forward and give us an idea of what might happen to prices in uh, the next couple of days. So if we see on the chart here a really clear level at the 130.80 level, we also see the 50 day EMA, this is something I talk about in the course, looking for value. So the value zone, the 50 day EMA, you can see it's held reasonably well in the last two touches so you would expect that a move up into this area would be greeted by sell pressure as it was in this area and we'd be looking for a little bit of a sell off again. The idea with trading is to identify the key levels as well as look for the price action. Now we can see that 130.80 has acted really well as a reversal point. What's interesting was this formation right here we had tail on that candle. It wasn't a pin bar, we did reject. So on the last test of 130.80 we can see this area here was rejected by the market as it was in the past. What a lot of people did last week, including myself, was short the 127.15 area which was this level through here and it paid off pretty well. However, in the Friday afternoon we had this massive rally and that took out a lot of break-even stops or even stopped people out who didn't take profits. I was one of the lucky ones who did move to break-even selling this, I sold this retest right here. What I'm looking for again is trades on the short side but I'll be happy to take another crack at going short in the 130.50, 130.80 level and preferably after some price action on say the 4 hour, 1 hour charts. I guess what I'm trying to say here is you've got to map the market in advance of the week ahead. In fact, every day at the close on the Euro and the Majors, I map all the levels I can see and uh, try and build a little bit of a path for the, the next few days. So what it does for me is it gives me a concrete diagram of what the market is and, and where the levels are and then I'll look for the price action. Really this video is just, uh, I want to just show you what's happening on the chart at the moment. I want you to look at this chart into the next seven days or five days and see how these levels panned out and it's just an example of what I'll be doing. So I was already doing this, I thought I'd switch the video camera on and um, I've just identified 130.80 and of course uh, this level through here, 132.99. So they're the relevant resistance points in the week ahead. I think 138 is going to be a pretty big sell level and uh, we'll see how we go. Trend's still down and uh, I'd expect the short side to be profitable until this trend breaks back higher. That's all I've got for today's video. I'll uh, see you in the trading forum.